Hey guys and welcome back to the acne channel. My name is Lavinia and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do makeup over acne scars. So in this video I'm mainly going to be showing you how I did my face makeup today. I do a very specific technique to make sure I achieve a super like natural glowy makeup look that's still able to kind of conceal some of my redness and acne and acne scarring without you know emphasizing them more or completely masking them and just making it look really effortless and natural on the skin. So if you guys want to see um, how I got this face makeup right here. I'm going to be showing you guys all my secrets, all my tips and tricks, and honestly, in my opinion, the best makeup routine for acne scars out there. So let's get right on into it. All right, so let's get started on the routine. The first thing I like to do is apply some type of color corrector. Now I'm gonna show you guys my two favorites that I've been using that really help kind of combat my redness and act as a really great base underneath my makeup. So first off, I love using the Hero Force Field Super Light Sunscreen. This is a broad SPF 30. It's a zinc oxide base, so really great for sensitive skin, which I have. And it just does a really good job because it's also a tinted green sunscreen but even though it's zinc oxide it's very lightweight so it actually blends in really nicely and does not leave a white cast which i really enjoy and i just really love this sunscreen of course you should be wearing sunscreen every day and especially if you wear makeup apply it underneath and this is a really great one because it does have that green tint in there so i really enjoy that but i also wanted to show you guys that this right here this is what i'll usually use as my primer underneath my makeup and this is from indeed this is their nano blur color corrector in the green color i like this green color one because again it will kind of combat that redness and especially from you know acne scars even though i don't have really any actives except up this one right here the rest are acne scars and they still leave that redness behind so i'll just take a bit of this and kind of smooth it on my skin this even helps with like pores kind of blurring out the skin and just an overall great base for underneath makeup um, which i really really enjoy and it just kind of helps color correct i'm not going to go too heavy with this but you can definitely you know like take a little bit more if you want and concentrate it in the areas you have redness which for me is more around my mouth area it's not blended out perfect that is totally fine because we're going to be putting on coverage over top but a good base routine is really important important something else i really um, recommend is using a great moisturizer underneath your makeup i already did that so i didn't show it but make sure you're using something that will really hydrate the skin and moisturize the skin so the makeup doesn't look cakey on the skin and actually just blends really well and sits great on the skin so moving on i find a lot of people when it comes to acne coverage or acne scar coverage like to use full coverage products that will really you know create like a mask over their face to really combat that redness now something that i like to do is actually use more of a full coverage like concealer or product in a spot form so just apply on the spots i need more coverage and then overall go with something very light this way you'll get a very nice natural look to the skin that will look really effortless but you'll still get the coverage you want so what i like to do is take a concealer this one right here is from elf this is the camo and i like to use the hydrating one in the shade fair warm now i like the hydrating one just for my like dry skin but they even have like a regular camo concealer this one's really good too a very full coverage some other great ones are like l'oreal catrice milani rare beauty makes a great one so so there's lots out there that are really nice but i just take a little bit of this and you can either go ahead and just apply it like directly on with the applicator or you can take a little brush and use that to kind of spot like so now lately to be honest with you i have been liking more of that natural finish i kind of like to let my scars and acne kind of peek through i'm not as much into covering it up i've just learned to embrace my skin a lot more and this is what works for me really well so once i have that on i'll kind of take the brush after i kind of give it a minute and i'll kind of use the brush to just pat it out nothing crazy just slightly pat it out so it's still blended but don't like completely shear it out if that makes sense so as you can see you can see the product sitting on my skin but we're just like shearing it out a little bit 
Now it is time to actually do the coverage for the face. So lately I've been loving tinted serums, which are basically like a skincare and makeup combined. Some of my favorites recently have been like the Trini London BFF Rebalance. This one's really good. I've also been loving the L'Oreal True Match, the nude hyaluronic acid serum, really good. If you do want a bit more coverage though, I would recommend the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear. This is perfect if you're really going for more of that glam makeup. And some of my other favorites are from Sephora, the S Clean and the Best Skin Ever. Um, they're really, all of these foundations that I just showed are lightweight, but they still make the skin look really pretty. But today I'm gonna be going in with a tinted serum just because I love how this makes my skin look. I'm using the shade Very Light. Now you can use a sponge or a brush. I do like a sponge just because it does give a nice look and especially with how we did the concealing underneath the foundation, um, the sponge isn't going to actually pick up too much of that and it's just gonna let that coverage stay underneath. So that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna take some of the product on my sponge and disperse it on my face. I like to start just on one like quadrant of my face and start patting this in. Now, I really like how glowy this foundation looks, and sometimes glowy or dewy foundations can accentuate acne scars, and we like to go for more of that matte look, but I like doing something dewy like this and then setting it really well, which will kind of help diminish the appearance of my acne scars, but still make the skin look really effortless and light rather than like caked on matte makeup, if that makes sense. And if I need some more, I'll just build it up. Another product I've been loving lately is also from L'Oreal, the True Match Eye Cream. It's a tinted eye cream in the shade Pale. And I like this because, again, very light on the skin, especially for winter. You don't want really too much of matte products because it can make your skin look dry and cakey. And then I'll even do a little bit of spot concealing over top with this one. Just lightly with the sponge. So after that is done, you know, we can still see texture, we can see, still see those scars, but that is okay, trust the process. I have been really enjoying cream products just because I like how they layer on my acne and acne scars and they just look a lot more natural and they don't build like as cakey. So I like using like a cream contour to shape my face. As you can see, we kind of let some of those scars over here just kind of peek through. And this contour stick right here is from Sistar Cosmetics. It's the bronze and shade. Kind of just add some lines very effortlessly, not too much product. And then the same side as the foundation I actually use to blend out the bronzer. Very light patting motions and I just kind of let it melt into my skin. This will give you a really like natural bronze, but still like let the product sink into your skin and make it look a lot more natural instead of caking a bunch of layers on um, because I find that's what accentuates acne and acne scars the most so I find cream products just really work well this way. Next, blush. So I used to really be afraid of blush because I did have acne um, and a lot of redness in my skin so I thought a blush would really accentuate that but now I've kind of changed my perspective and I really love how blush makes my skin look. So I'm going to be using um, a Milani cream blush this one's in the shade merlot moment and i just kind of tap very so slightly with a brush because they are very pigmented again love the cream blushes because they kind of just melt into the skin and look very effortless and very natural and i th and i find with blush it just brings a little bit of life back into my skin and makes my skin look really natural even though i have makeup on and it makes it, it makes it look really like alive and glowy which is i think something i avoided before because I thought glowy skin would accentuate my acne scars even more. I just love how it looks now. I even take a bit on the nose there. And if you're someone who likes to tone down the blush a bit more, just take your sponge, just go over. Now it's time to set the skin. The thing I recommend the most is a loose powder. I really like the one from Milani. I like the one from Sister Cosmetics too. And I just take some of the powder. This is the It's You from Sister Cosmetics. And you want to get a powder that's very finely milled and grab it onto your sponge. Now the more fine the powder is, the more it will look like skin and kind of diffuse that texture out and kind of minimize those pores or the appearance at least. So I like to start under the eyes and in my like pore area first. Set the eyelids too. And then I go on the chin and on the forehead. And I really like to keep like the T-zone more matte because I tend to get more oily. And then I'll take some more powder and press it 
around my mouth and my smile line because this is where I have more of that scarring. Now with a very lightweight powder like this, it really diffuses into the skin nicely. Looks very, very subtle and doesn't emphasize my scarring as much as a full coverage foundation and a full coverage powder would do. So this technique is really nice. So once I've powdered, I'm gonna show you guys like one of my favorite tricks. And that is using a pressed foundation. Excuse how broken mine is. I have to get a new one, but I haven't gotten a chance to and I still wanna use some of this product. It just shattered, unfortunately, because I dropped it. So this is the infallible 24 hour wear. So it's the same as the foundation I showed you guys earlier, but in a pressed powder form. And for this, you'll need like an eyeshadow brush. I just like to take like a fluffy one. I dip it into the powder and I just use this powder on any spots that I want a bit more coverage because it does have lots of pigment because it's a powder it doesn't add too much like an extra layer of makeup to the skin like so now the most important step to finish off the face is a setting spray I love this one from Rare Beauty I also love this Milani sativa seed oil one because it's very hydrating so I'm gonna use this one today and I just spray it on. Now the skin might look a little like dewy and hydrated at first. Just let this sink in and I promise you the skin will look so good. So I'm gonna go do my eyes and lips and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've done the rest of my face and eye makeup, I did wanna show you guys with a bit of a more intense highlighter that you shouldn't be afraid to use highlighter even though you have textured skin. This one right here is from NYX and it's their gold bar in the rose gold shade. Definitely a very intense highlighter, but I'm just gonna show you how if you just place it right and if you do this very light face makeup where you still get that good coverage, by just applying some of this, like you can see, it's very glittery, but I'm placing it very strategically on my face. And you can still have some of that fun with that glow without emphasizing texture. And if you have texture, that is a-okay. No one's skin is flawless. Makeup is supposed to look like makeup and letting some of those scars or imperfections shine through is um, I think really beautiful and something that you should be able to do if you love to play with makeup. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more tutorials um, regarding makeup and acne or acne scars, let us know down below in the comments, but I do hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, make sure to also leave them down below in the comments. But more importantly, if you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the Acne channel as we post tons of videos regarding skincare and acne. And if you are an acne warrior and a skincare lover, this is definitely the channel for you. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.